This is Earthrise, the famous photo taken by astronaut William Anders in the 1968 Apollo 8 mission, and shows the Earth as it floats in space. We know an awful lot about that floating ball of rocks and liquids, but not as much as we know about the floating object in the foreground, the moon. From Earth it looks like this, and sometimes even this, but getting into your time machine, which in the future when you're watching this has already been invented, you travel millions of years into the past and you notice that the moon is much larger. And since we're fairly certain that the moon hasn't shrunk over the years, we would suspect that the moon has actually been moving further and further away from us, and we would be right. By exerting this gravitational force on the Earth, the moon actually creates tidal bulges from the Earth's oceans, which we know of as tides. And since the Earth is constantly spinning, friction pushes this bulge forward and always a few paces from the moon. This giant mass of water then tugs on the moon, and just like a slingshot, gives the moon some more energy and propels it further away from the Earth. And this is even seen through experiments. In 1969, when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin touched down on the moon, they left more than just a few footprints and now some bleached flag. On that Apollo 11 mission, the astronauts also left behind core reflectors, which bounce light right back to its source, so a person on Earth can shoot a laser at the moon, hit a core reflector, and bounce light right back to Earth. By measuring the time it takes for the light to get there and back, we can figure out the distance between the Earth and the moon. And although the data shows that the moon's Earth distance cycles, on average the moon is moving further away from the Earth at a painfully slow rate of 3.78 cm per year. But what does this mean for us? Well, based on the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, the friction to push the tidal bulge forward is actually draining energy from the Earth and slowing down its rotation. Not by much though, only by about 19 hours every 4.5 billion years. But this continuous slowing will over time cause the Earth to go off balance and begin to wobble like a spinning quarter that has lost speed. Obviously our Earth won't be like the quarter and fall flat over, but since our climate is largely controlled by the Earth's tilt towards the sun, our weather will be even worse than it is now. So go outside, look up and be thankful that the moon's still there. Because in the words of Counting Crows, you never know what you got until it's gone. Tell us what you want to see next in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more science facts and updates.